Alright guys, welcome back to the bench. Today it's time to work on the BME 280 based weather station again. Um, and this time I've finally gotten all the pieces I need in order to put this together. The next two clips are me opening packages with the parts that I need and explaining what they're for. What do we have here? Alright, so these are project boxes. Let's see, how do you open it? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, project enclosures, uh, they have um, screw posts there for screwing down a board. Um, a couple of spots I think you could maybe put. Well, let's see. Guess you wouldn't, but um, I was thinking you maybe would put uh, LEDs through there or something. But just to give a little bit of indication, but I guess if you mount that so that these are down, um, it would drain any moisture. I picked up some extra three volt Arduinos um, just in case I break something. And then this is the solar cell that I'm hoping to use. Um, so I, will, I was needing that. This is a second option for the case for the whole thing. Um, this is supposed to be weatherproof, so um, it might be a better option than the non-weatherproof box that I showed before. Um, so I'll be considering both options. But basically, I would probably put it something like this, um, maybe just a little bit differently so I can still get to the screws, and then mount that to the tree. So. Anyway, so these are the parts we're waiting for. Let's get started. So first let me address the issue of power, which has been troubling me for a little while. Um, in the last video, I said that I was going to try to run this off of uh, nickel metal hydride uh, AA cells. And I realized that I, that was actually not going to be possible because the voltage that these produce is not enough um, to run some of the components in this. I didn't actually figure out which component wasn't running. I believe the Arduino was running, but at least one of the peripherals was not powering up, and that was with fully charged batteries. Uh, so, of course, as the batteries were to drain, that would uh, fall off. So I know that my cutoff voltage is somewhere above 2.4 volts. I don't know exactly what it is, um, and I know that my maximum voltage is no more than 3.6 volts at an absolute maximum for this radio here. So uh, that really limits me in terms of what I can do. But as you can see here, I have an 18650 connected to it. So what I actually did, if you remember in an earlier video, I removed the voltage regulator. Well, I actually soldered a new one back on which seems a little bit strange, maybe a little counterintuitive, but the voltage regulator that I soldered back on was a really low quiescent current voltage regulator, and it was also a 3 volt instead of 3.3 volt uh, regulator. And what that means is that I can go all the way down to very close to at least the cutoff voltage of the 18650 cell before that uh, voltage regulator is going to drop out. Uh, so what that means, it, and I measure the current, it's it's uh, the the sleep current is 0.4 um, milliamps, just like it was before. So it's you know within the tolerance of my meter of of the same current. Um, so the topology now is I have a solar cell which I'm going to connect into a little single cell lithium charge circuit here. You know just the standard one. Um, this does have battery protection built in. Uh, normally it charges from USB, uh, but I don't think it's horribly, I don't think it cares all that much what the voltage is that comes in, and this produces 6 volts, so it should be, you know, close enough. Um, I'm going to just put that on the input, and then on the, the battery goes on this side, you can see the two terminals there, and then there's an output here, which I will feed into the Arduino's raw voltage input, which is what goes through the voltage regulator. 
and then the voltage regulator in the Arduino which is right there the new one I put in uh, that will be feeding the Arduino and the 3.3 uh, volt um, BME 280 sensor as well as the radio so I've drawn that out as a diagram here and you should be able to see if I refocus this the uh, solar cell is feeding the charge circuit which charges the battery and then the charge circuit also um, outputs to the Arduino Pro Mini which also feeds the BME 280 sensor and the radio so that's the general idea um, now that we've gotten this working, the next major task is to miniaturize everything and make it fit in the housing. So in terms of mounting, I'm thinking that I'm going to mount the solar cell on the back of this housing here, and then I'll just mount these holes so they're facing down, so that if any moisture did get in, it could leak out. So it'll be something like this. Um, I think that should work pretty well for us. And then, as you can see, there are mounting holes in here. I'm going to try to cut a piece of perf board so that it fits in there rather well. And then, uh, basically, I'll mount up and miniaturize the Arduino. Um, and by miniaturize, I really just mean I will take the jumper connectors here. Um, and on this side, I'll just chop off the ends and solder them directly to the board. Uh, and on this side, I'll replace those with actual wires. All right, so let's get started. The first task is to uh, cut a piece of perf board that will fit inside this box so that we can lay out our uh, components inside of it. And to do that, I'm going to cut a piece of paper to fit. Um, I'll mark the, the spots where the holes go and then I'll use that to transfer that onto some uh, perf board like this. Alright, so I cut and uh, used a file to get this to the right size, and it seems to fit pretty well. Um, I think, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to secure that in, because the holes on this don't seem to line up precisely with anything below it, uh, but I'm sure a little bit of glue or double-sided tape can, probably, can do the trick. So now I will focus on fitting our Arduino stuff on this board here. Okay, and here it is all put together. So I did end up having to replace the Arduino. I think um, all of the work with the soldering iron ended up frying it. Uh, so this one is um, just a stock 3.3 volt Arduino with the uh, LED removed. I didn't do anything with the 3.3 uh, volt voltage, voltage regulator, and I was getting the same 0.4 milliamps um, quiescent current draw. So I think I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, but if if I do end up having trouble with it, I might replace it with the the three volt regulator. Um, all the wiring for this whole thing is uh, nicely tucked behind this board, which I'll show in a moment. And the uh, BME uh, 280 sensor is uh, sitting here on the end and sticking out of the case. So let me pull this out and I'll show you how I did it. So the wiring is fairly tidy back here, um, uh, and basically um, I have, these are the SPI connections to the radio, and then there's a couple of these really thin wires which are going off to the, the um, I squared C sensor. Um, the way I mounted this on the edge is I, I added um, the plastic spacers from headers, um, to both sides of this metal so that it 
was squeezing to the board rather tightly. Um, and that's because I don't have like a through hole to, um, to solder to. But what that does for me is it is it gives me a, a relatively uh, rigid um, mount with enough flex that I can still get it through that hole easily, uh, and it also provides some strain relief for the uh, for the wires that are small and are going to that. And then off on this side we have the the solar cell with a little diode soldered in line. And this is just mounted to the lid with double-sided uh, tape. I'm going to have to do some waterproofing on this whole thing. But I've had it sitting out on my porch for a whole week, uh, and it's been doing great. Um, I was also able to measure what uh, the charging current is uh, in direct sunlight, and it's above 100 milliamps charging current. So that's, that's really good. Um, and I think if I add a little bit of waterproofing, I should be able to put it out there and expect to have it keep itself powered for quite some time. So to put it all together, um, basically you just have to be careful to keep those wires in that spot there. And uh, the whole thing clips down. It's a little finicky. Um, so yeah, then the solar cell on top. and. Uh, sensor sticking on the side. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you like videos like this or you want to see a uh, video of me waterproofing it, putting it outside, uh, please subscribe. Uh, look for updates. And if you know anyone who you think would be interested in this sort of thing, I'd really appreciate it if you share it. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!